Hello students and friends. Today's video is going to be on a topic how to interface a temperature device into a computer using RS-232. How to build an application using Python language. So in order to begin you can see that this is a Lakeshore device. It's a temperature meter which reads the temperature of the first channel 87.5 Kelvin. It is a, so how do you read this reading into the computer which is having Python installed? So the connections required are there is an RS-232 port, serial port behind and from here you have to have a cable which is coming from here and it can go up to 50 feet distance then it comes to an RS-232 port. Since the laptop did not have an RS-232 port we used a MOXA USB to RS-232 converter which is called a U1110 model number. So it looks like the PC is having now an RS-232 port so you can make a three wire connection since this is also a DTE and this is also a DTE you can make a null modem cable between transmit going to receive and receive going to transmit and pin number five ground common so three wires only can be there in this now <clears throat> now the thing is when when such kind of a system is in front of you how do you write a small program in python to get the data into the computer how do you dump the display into the computer once if you are able to dump the data then you will be able to do multiple things with this for example so i say as i said this is the device and this is the connection diagram and the the other thing is if even if it was an a power supply or any other lecture or any, any other device you know the way the connection were looking like two three five in both sides you are going to make a cable two goes to three three goes to two and five goes to five and it's called a null modem cable now the next thing what you do is this is how the lakeshore meter connection is going to look like now if you look at the manual of this particular device you will see that it is it it says it has got a nine pin d connector and the device is a dt and is rs232 you can have 50 feet of data transmission asynchronous data transmission which is once in a while it will transmit the data that is what we need and half duplex that means through these wires only one one time one way only data will go transmit means transmit resume means receive baud rate which we selected 9600 in our device bits per second then the protocol is one start bit or seven data bit one parity bit one stop bit this is written in the manual and it uses odd parity so that means 9600 701 is the protocol and terminator this is like when you send a message you have to say over in like a walkie talkie so this is crl of is the end of strings so this you have already understood this now so this is the uh, this is how the connection is looking like now again this is you are plugging the usb device into the computer and device is put on that means device is looking like this with a temperature value in front. Now I am going to start writing a program in Python. How do you write a program? The program looks like that. So what you need to do is actually you can see the screen uh, and I see import time and import serial. These are two things which are required to be imported into this Python module because the time is required for calling delay and all these things which we are going to call time dot sleep in python one second delay 
and serial is anyway required for all this setting all this serial ports etc the first thing you do is you create serial is equal to serial dot serial it's like a const it's an object and it started with a class of serial and you know this is how you set it's right now this particular connection is connected to com18 why you got com18 is like a uh you can see that you go to my computer if you see manage you can see that the port it is connected to right now is com18 you can see that right now so you go to the device manager and since i connected the moxa device to the port usb port it's saying com port this is is this is detected as com port in 18 now this is the board rate i have said 9600 board and what parity stop bits and 7 bits etc this is a standard protocol which is set as per the device now we say if serial is it if it is not open then open this that is what you have to open the serial port after that what you are going to do is this is what you have to understand you have a while loop here and how the while loops works you can see the entire program is written in uh, uh, python 2.7.13 it's a lower version i have purposely used because version to version things differ now for example suppose i is equal to let's say 1 now if i say like this 4 I'm sorry, not for the while loop. I'm demonstrating the while loop while i less than ten. Then I can always say i is equal to i plus one. After that, I can say print i. Something like this. See now, if I execute this program. you see that i is being incremented till ten so you can also if i if i had put the entire condition as true while one had i said it would have infinitely executed now it is till the condition becomes true that means whenever i is less than ten when the condition is there this will execute otherwise it will come out that is the idea now coming back so what you are going krdg question mark one is a command to be sent into the serial port to get data of the first channel so what i am doing input is equal to i have stored this as a string and after that i have written the string the input into the serial port com18 plus an end of string slash r means line feed slash and means return these two i have sent it along so or it could be other way i am sorry if it is slash r could be uh, the carriage return and this could be line feed so crlf is the crlf is the over character our characters that is like over means like in walkie talkie when you send a message you say over that means the commands are sent so at the end you send this as a extra characters for the other system to understand now this is where you are going to collect the data out right now i put a space nothing is there inside this a zero space character i am giving you one one second delay between sending and receiving it's already sent now how it receives this is the command while serial dot in waiting greater than zero that mean whenever there is a data available in the serial buffer then it will go here out is equal to out plus serial dot read one serial dot read one means read first one character and each one character it will first it is space here so that each one character it will get, go on appending to out until you get the finished one after that you just print out that so this is how the program looks like it is quite simple now we can i can demonstrate that here like i have i have written the program in this python 
uh, and I am executing this this is 2.7.13 you can see that the temperature device is on now you can see that you can see the messages start to come in finished reading message 296 Kelvin plus 296.47 you see the temperature is changing and now if I hold with my hand the sensor see I am now holding the sensor that means my body temperature will go up accordingly you can see that you can see that uh, the temperature will also go up see that it is going up temperature is going up this is at 298 Kelvin because I am holding it in my hand so it will go to it will get slightly heated up so that's all we demonstrated how to interface a device using Python using serial port. Thank you.